What's up, guys? Hey, June. What's up, guys? Hey, June, June. Hey, Johnny. Hi, babies. Good morning. Good morning. Welcome to Coffee Chat without coffee. No coffee. If we had, we're out in the pasture today. Um, if we had coffee, they would be climbing us, especially these two darn goats. This is uh, Johnny, and he does absolutely nothing at all for us. He just lives here. Besides being pretty. I mean, he is pretty. I am looking at his curly um, neck fluff, though, and I'm thinking, mm, I might send him a little sample along with the sheep. Um, because you got some what looks like some nice cashmere right there. Little down coat. Little downy, woolly, and it's look how uh, curly it is too. June is so batshit crazy. Look at it. What up, June? I don't know if you can see June. June is over here just rubbing on me. She's a lunatic. She's the one that uh, chases Jack around and just blah, yells at him and. <laughs> <laughs> tries to bite him in the butt yeah exactly uh we're out here because it is such a gorgeous day and a beautiful day in february in michigan is not to be missed and this is our um last year's lambs uh their little area because the the bigger ewes were pushing them around uh taking more of the food than what was necessary so these ones are all basically the same size so yep. they are all together the skinnies and i just realized uh declan and jack have just gone into the barn to feed them and you will not see them again so we're going to be standing in a oh, empty they'll, pasture well they'll be yelling here in a second is for it a more rain food. day yes oh, okay yeah hence why they're yelling inside why right they're now. yelling inside there um all of our uh yarn and bags and sweatshirts and things like that are at have you any wool in berkeley so we figured what's the point of videoing in the shop on half empty shelves um, which is a good had, problem to have it's a great problem we have we had a great time there yeah huh? it's a good show that's um, why we didn't do coffee chat uh i'm sorry not coffee chat uh, happy, happy hour. hour uh yeah. this week as we were just so busy trying to get things together for the shrunk show so just this i guess this would be kind of the recap of the week too we are set up at have you any wool in berkeley michigan on robina where Shelly is hosting us with her wonderful knitting group at 3455 Rubina from 11 to 5 today. Come see what we have in store. Yeah, like Shelly and Cindy. Hi! I'm not doing live, I'm just taking oh. video. Okay. <laughs> you never know. Last week was a crazy busy week. Oh, it was such a busy week. We went, we got cows. Yay! Dairy cows. We're going to go visit them next. Hashtag Sherry's Dairy Cows, because that was her idea that I facilitated. and Yes, but yeah. I'll remind you that I went all the way to South Dakota for those highlands. Okay, was wanted. that not a sweet trip, though? It was a great it was trip. A sweet trip. It was a terrific trip. And I do love the highlands. As much as I initially didn't want um, beef cows on the farm, they're, they have great personalities. They're beautiful. Well, and I am hardcore team cow And, now. and we, we eat meat, so I'd like yes, to know where do. our meat comes yeah, from. Yeah, exactly. Because we eat meat, we like to grow it ourselves um because we're practicing our ethics practice um, what you preach and we have the land to do it so yeah we do but uh, this but uh, this week's gonna be another crazy week it is we have so we have a zoom meeting today mm -hmm. and then uh somebody might be coming out to take a look at some sheep to probably purchase after lambing oh right the tunas yep and yep. then we are riding our horses today. Yes, we actually put it in the calendar. I mentioned that. I did a little two-minute video on the, my walk down oh, to okay. work. Um, we've actually put it in our calendar that at, what is it, like 2 o'clock or something today, Luke and I are riding the horses because the horses, last time we worked them, what was that, like Thursday or so, they yeah. were really fidgety and antsy. Because well, and the farriers came, and they were really yeah. naughty for the farriers, which yes. is an unusual thing for our horses. They used yeah. to just stand there pretty good. but Our horses are super calm, but we haven't worked them enough. Between both of us having surgery and not being able to ride for six weeks, yep. um, and the weather, we didn't want to, once we could ride, then the weather was icy, and we didn't want to risk them or us getting F hurt. Getting hurt, so, falling, yeah. There's no snow. Today is a glorious day to ride, and I am really looking forward to it. Got my yes. boots on. Nice. Yeah. Yeah. 
You're all, you're all looking like you're ready to ride. I'm ready to ride. I got my western. I got my riding pants and my boots. I, I guess I'm riding western today. Nothing wrong with that. Yeah. And then uh, we take ten sheep to the abattoir mm -hmm. this week. Um, yep. And we have pre-orders for that already going. We have a couple already sold. Mm -hmm. So if anybody's interested in the meats, we do ship because it's USDA inspected. So we yep. can ship the meat. But if you're doing a large quantity, you're not going to want to ship the meat that's going to be expensive no you do want to ship a large quantity you don't want to ship a small quantity because the freezer oh because the box is the same cost yeah. anyway so okay. when you're shipping a large com quantity it works out really well um you don't want to order like one leg of lamb and ship it because it has to go air freight so that it doesn't spoil and the cooler box alone is really costly they're 27 dollars. yeah um that's just what they cost uh so so if, email me yeah. Luke at MitchellWool.com if you want meat. I'm putting all the orders together. Uh, otherwise, uh, it'll be available online for purchase and we can ship it to you. But Yep. Eventually, the cuts will be available online. We just we won't know that until we have the weights back. But, um, yeah, the reason we're taking sheep is because we have some that have some um, foot health problems. And we, we had a lot of rams and weathers this year. We had too many rams and weathers, and it's we um, we just can't keep them all. We are at thirteen rams, like in one pasture together. That's a that's a lot of rams. That's a lot. That's going to cause yeah um, issues issues of fighting and, and things of that nature. And our rams are, are really docile, and we like to keep it. Well, and, and and that sometimes it causes issues of uh, trying to fight each other over trying to mate and stuff like that too. So it distracts them. So we don't need those issues, but yeah. so just part of the whole wool business is meat production. Yeah. And if anybody wants to purchase lambs uh, or sheep, we have the numbers to do that. Now I'd rather sell a live lamb than a uh, dead one, but yeah, he means selling live ones for your pet flock, yeah. for your homestead, for, um, you know, um, if you want to have your own your little wool flock, wants or pet to flock. Have a, a wool flock, we're cool with that. We do, we do screen farms. We want to make sure oh, yeah. they're going to, um, even if they're going to be a meat animal, we want to make sure they're going to a farm where they're going to be ethically cared for to our welfare standards. Um, another thing that's exciting this week is tomorrow is the last day that you can order Cindy's Yarn Club for February. And her color this month is Vintage Valentine's. Um, it's a pretty fun, vibrant color. Tomorrow's the last day. Mm -hmm. They will ship out on probably um, Thursday, Wednesday or Thursday. So if you're in the club, look forward to what's going on. I got to remember my mind. Cindy, she's got to write her letter that goes with it. <laughs> uh, yeah. A busy week. What are you, um, you're still prepping for lambing? Sorry, yep. we're looking directly into the sun, so we're very squinty. Um, you're prepping for lambing still. But but luckily we have most of that done. So now it's cleaning out the stalls, getting everything, you know, sanitary and that kind of stuff before lambing. So. Oh, um, one thing, are we good on the tube feeder? Didn't the hose from the tube feeder break? I bought more tube Oh, you bought more? Yeah. Okay, good. Um, it's, it's that kind of thing, making, taking inventory of all our medicines and our lambing supplies. Our and, colostrum and, and yeah. milk replacer, even though we will milk sheep to give to the other lambs if need be, but. What about milk storage bags? We have, we have plenty of okay. those, yep. Yeah. All right, good. So that's kind of what this time of year is, is definitely, do we have this, do we have that? It's just like you're preparing, um, for newborns. You gotta make sure you've got all your stuff. Um, Becca and Cindy will be sewing some bags this week because we um, sold out of a lot of our Sherry sweater bags and took some pre-orders at the show, but they're also going to be selling, um, sewing lamb coats. Oh, I didn't know they were doing that. Yep. Okay. We've got some um, old vintage wool blankets okay. that we're going to be um, using. On that note, if you have old dog coats, particularly in size extra small and small, because lambs are born typically around 8 to 10 pounds, sometimes they're a little bigger. If you have old dog coats that you want to get rid of, drop us a line, sherry at mitchellwool.com, S-H-E-R-R-Y at mitchellwool.com, because that's a great way to recycle them too. Small mm -hmm. dog coats work really well for lambs. Yep. 
Um, it's, and sometimes they just need it. Like typically we don't want to put a sweater on, but depending on the weather, if, if we get unlucky and someone's born in like freezing temps, then in addition to their heat lamp, they get a little extra warmth when they need it. Yep. It's hard well, for them some, to pack on pounds if they're shivering. Some of the ewes are starting to bag up too. So I think they're coming pretty soon. I think so too. That's really going to mess with our plans for the neighborhood thing on the fourth. Um, I'm hoping not. Neighborhood thing of the fall. The hunt ball. Oh. Yeah. Um, yeah. So that's what's going on this week. I think we're going to try and keep it brief. We don't want to get too long winded. If you have any questions, drop them in comments or drop them on the Instagram post that will link this. And we'll try to address it on Friday. If we have time. <laughs> if we have time. We'll see. It's a very, very busy time of year. Well, thank you. We'll, we will see you uh, later. Yep. See you later. Have a great week. Bye.